Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Joey Sugarmock is back here with another video for you guys. And in this video, we're here to talk about the game that wrapped up a few hours ago between the Falcons and the Ravens. So, a uh, very nice bounce back win for the Ravens today. And it is time to celebrate because, based off of the result of the Bengals Patriots game that was going on at the same time, Ravens officially in the playoffs after falling short last year we are right back in it this year even without lamar jackson under center right now back in the playoffs so we will be playing football in january meaningful football in january so great to see you guys i'm really really happy about it um you know how satisfying it is to be able to make it to the playoff uh it's a gift only seven teams in each conference make it, so uh, if we're, so in total, only 14 out of 32 teams make it, and we were able to be one of those 14 teams, so very happy about that. But, of course, this does not mean that we can light off the gas pedal because we still very much can get a higher seed. We still are fighting. We still are uh, chasing Cincinnati to win the division, so we absolutely need to keep pushing. But at least we have made it to the playoffs, so we have more than two games. We have at least three games left in the season. We'll put it that way. So very, very happy about that. Okay, so I, I guess I'll briefly, before we move on, I'll talk about the uh, Bengals Patriots. So there's been there are fans that have had different perspectives. So if the Patriots lost that game, that made it, that um, put us in the playoffs, which happened. The Bengals beat the Patriots, so we are officially in the playoffs. Meanwhile, if the Bengals lost, so if the Patriots had won that game, we uh, oddly enough we actually would not have officially clinched a playoff berth yet. But we would be back on top first place in the AFC North. What ended up happening? The Patriots lost, so we're in the playoffs. But because the Bengals won, we still are behind them uh, in the division. Frankly, I really did not care who won that game. I really, I, I was glad it was a good game, uh, and I really was cool with either result. I'm cool. I would be cool with not being in the playoffs yet, but being um, leading the charge in the division. I'd also be okay with not winning the not leading the division currently but being in the playoffs. So, really I'm I'm cool with the result and again, let's go to the playoffs, man. I can't wait for it. All right. So, for today, uh, a really a nice bounce back game. Still some issues that seem to be reoccurring. There are still some some big time flaws, but I thought it was a really nice bounce back game from Tyler Huntley. I thought he played a lot better today. Obviously, his stats were not off the charts by any means, but he didn't do anything stupid. Uh, besides, I still think he's taking too many hits. He's got to be more protective of himself. But he didn't turn the ball over. Uh, he did miss a few throws, but he also hit a few deep throws for a change. Uh, he and Andrews had some more communication today. They still uh, did not communicate well on a couple throws, and Andrews clearly got frustrated. But they also hit on a few. Uh, Huntley hit Andrews deep uh, earlier in the game. Huntley also hit Andrews for a couple more passes later on. So it was nice to see Andrews get more involved today. Uh, the run game, again, I know the Falcons' run defense isn't good, but, man, this one-two punch is back, man. It is back, and it is in full effect. This time, it was Gus Edwards leading the charge. The past couple games, Edwards had done well, but Dobbins had been leading it. This time, flipped. Dobbins did his thing today, but Edwards, man, with the game ceiling first down, and he was running all over the place. Man, I love Gus Edwards. As you can see, I'm wearing his jersey, uh, and it's just it's so great to see the one-two punch back, man. We, we miss those guys so much. They're just not replaceable. They're not. We, we try to throw in random veterans in there. It's just not remotely the same. So it was really, really nice. Uh, it's really, really nice having them back. And I think they're both getting better every week. Of course, they're both still recovering. They're not back to their full selves yet, especially J.K. Dobbins. Um, <coughs> frankly, I don't notice too much of a difference in Edwards' performance. But I also don't think his injury was quite, was quite as serious. It was, They both tore their ACLs, but I think Dobbins had more uh, lateral damage, as far as I know. Um, so... It's really nice to see uh, them both back again. They're not at full strength yet, but they're still plenty good enough. So that's great to see, and let's keep rolling. Um, and another big plus for today, as far as I know, we got out of the game healthy. Kyle Hamilton went down like a couple times. I think one time he got the wind knocked out of him. Uh, he may have gotten the wind knocked out of him both times, actually, but nothing got rolled up on. He, and he also came back into the game. So as far as I know, he should be fine. We'll see if there's any more further update after the game. But as far as I know, he finished the game, so he should be just fine. Uh, the secondary stayed healthy. Stevens, I thought, did a really nice job stepping in today because, of course, Marcus Peters was out. Um, so it was really, really nice to see. And again, as I said, I think we got out of the game healthy, which is huge because we have pretty much not gotten, gotten out of any game healthy this year. We've always had at least one person go down with an injury that's at least somewhat significant. So really, really nice to see that. Um and yes, great. Keep getting guys healthy, and hopefully, um, at least Lamar Jackson will be back next week. I don't think Campbell or Peters will be back yet, but the hope is for Lamar Jackson to be back next week. We'll see. They did. We did say the same thing last week uh, for him to be back this week, and it didn't happen. So we'll just have to find out. Um, 
And then I would say the one little draw to that, I mean, the defense in general played well. The Falcons only scored nine points, so I can't really complain. Not the best day for our run defense, but that was to be expected. I mean, the Falcons have an excellent running game, but also we were not at full strength today. Obviously, no Calais Campbell, um, so we had to put in Isaiah Mack, who I like, but he he had a tough game today. I'm not going to lie. He was kind of getting pushed all over the place. Uh, Travis Jones had to play a lot more. I thought Jones actually played pretty well today. He had several nice tackles, but yeah, then not the best day for the run defense. Again, not that surprising because for those two reasons we were we were hurt Campbell was out and not only I mean not only is he a loss but also you know he just adds a piece of the rotation so I think what, what kind of happened was you know our lineman had to play like pretty much every down so you know you get tired there's not as much rotating involved so it just breaks down over time and that's that's exactly what happened because they gained more as the game went on so um it didn't come back to bite us thankfully we still were able to win the game um, and it didn't, I don't think it was ever like significantly in doubt. Obviously, um, thought we, we tried to blow our two possession lead in the fourth quarter. We really did, but we were able to hang on. Uh, that was a huge, huge fourth down stand there. They were marching right on the field. I think it was 17, six and the Falcons were going to, were trying to get a touchdown to make it, um, back to a one possession game. And they ran like a wide give on fourth and goal from the one and Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen. I think it was, mo it was mostly Queen, I think as well, but if Roquan Smith played a big game today, uh, sniffed it out, man. Beautiful, beautiful defense. It, it was a defense that, again, bend, don't break. Or as they say, they get, they get, uh, t when the tough get going, they get tough or whatever they say that, or when the going get tough, the tough get going, whatever, whatever that, um, phrase is, uh, that was huge. That's exactly what happened. The defense, we bended, we, we bent, but we did not break. And that, that was the huge thing. Uh, we kind of let them, you know, w run the ball down our throats that drive, but we came up big when it mattered and we stopped them. And that was absolutely huge. And then we just had to get out of the end zone. The Falcons did get one more chance. They got a field goal, but then we sealed the deal uh, with the Gus Edwards run um, to finish it off. So all thumbs up there, guys. I'm really, really happy about it. Um, and yeah, not, not, uh, besides that, not too much to report. Um, it was nice to see, oh, and of course, Sammy Watkins uh, made his debut for the Ravens returning this year. Uh, he had one nice catch, actually. It was like one of the, like, really early in the game. Maybe, was it even on the first drive? I'm not sure. Maybe the second drive. Uh, but yeah, Huntley hit him, like, on a reroute. He actually got, like, 30 yards out of it, I think. So it was a nice play. I don't think he got targeted once the rest of the game, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, he made that one catch, and he didn't do anything stupid. He didn't, like, fumble or, or have a drop or anything. So I can't really complain, I guess. Um... I still, uh, the play calling, I still think needs some work. I didn't, I don't think it was as bad today. I think, I thought Roman did a much better job of, you know, sticking to the run game and not throwing for no reason. But at the same time, you know, it's easy to say that when we were up because last week we were, we were down, uh, this week we were up. So there was absolutely no excuse to abandon the run. Um, there were some people who were upset when on, I think it was the drive after we stopped the Falcons on that fourth and goal, um, we threw the ball twice on that drive. Uh, it was an incompletion. Actually, yeah, I think it was an incompletion, and then Huntley missed Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson deep. I honestly didn't mind the call. I, you know how much I love play action, so for us to go play action there and try to hit him was fine. The Falcons were really um, converging on the run, too, so to try and hit him with some play action, I didn't mind the call. Uh, it's a shame that no one really got open, but then again, people could have gotten open and Huntley just missed them, because that is, I think, Huntley's biggest flaw. He just does not serve it feel well. Even today, on a couple plays, he just missed open guys. Again, he played better today, so, and I'm not going to like shame him, but he still is missing open receivers left and right, man. He really has a hard time serving the field. Um, but nonetheless, again, it didn't come back to bite us. We still were able to win the game. We're in the playoffs. We're in double digit wins. The worst we can be is 10 and 7 now. And again, I, I think the I think we could theoretically still be the seventh seed, but now nah, we're, we're we're going for more than that. I know it. Um so now uh, we just have to keep doing our thing. We control our own destiny now. So again, I know we're in the playoffs, but really this the motto should be Let's just win these next. Let's win out. Let's win these next two division games. Now it's all division games the rest of the way. We host Pittsburgh next week, and then we're going to Cincinnati. All division games now. Um, so really, what we need to do is just keep doing our thing, keep winning these games, get hot at the right time, and we'll see what seed we land. Uh, chances are, if we win both, we're probably going to be the three or the four seed. Um, so that would be great. But you know, again, we're in the playoffs. But keep going. Do what we can do. Stay healthy. Let's try to get all of our guys back as as many guys back as possible, and we'll have to see where it goes. Uh, so guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you should drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And before I cut it, I want to say happy holidays to all of you. Um, whatever, whatever holiday you're celebrating, please enjoy it. Um, really, you know how much I love this time of year. So have a great holiday with your families. Hope everyone stays healthy and has a great time. And I will see you all next weekend.